So part of my uh, introductory psychology course, I have students perform what uh, are sometimes referred to as low stakes writing tasks. Uh, the idea here is that students read from a reader that's associated with the text in some way. And this reader is usually layperson articles describing some phenomenon that might be of interest to them. So for example, uh, one of the readers I used uh, talks about uh, theories of learning, which of course is a topic in my introductory psychology class, but talks it about in terms of training whales to do certain tricks. Um, so using learning strategies in order to train whales to jump through hoops and so on. So the students read from the readers, uh, and then each chapter that they're working with has a set of questions that they have to answer. And the questions are, uh, usually they're not particularly difficult questions, but they're sufficiently uh, deep in their expectations that allows the student to think more deeply about the uh, topic than they might in terms of the level of uh, understanding that they're getting out of the course uh, material in and of itself. Uh, these answers then are submitted electronically. So we submit them, the students submit them through Blackboard. And then they're graded on a pass-fail basis. Uh, one of the problems that we have in, uh, in our large classes is we have very limited uh, teaching assistant support. Uh, so for, ex for example, in the last couple of years, we've had one TA for my class of approximately three to 400, um, which I'm very grateful for. But uh, as a result, this uh, TA would be overwhelmed if he or she had to uh, grade in any extensive manner, these three to four hundred assignments. So the grading is essentially done on a pass-fail basis. If the student submits the assignment, they get a pass. If they don't submit it, they get a fail for that particular assignment. Despite this, and despite the fact that the grades for these particular assignments are not worth all that much towards the final grade, students take these things very seriously. Um, they almost submit it at probably about a 95 percent uh, rate, um, and they almost always submit answers that are in the, in the order of over one to two pages for any given question. So they're taking these very seriously. And the students often report to me that they find these particular tasks very interesting. Uh, they uh, find the readings much more interesting than their textbook readings, which shouldn't be too surprising. Um, but uh, but that they find the uh, questions that ask them to think about the processes more deeply very interesting as well. So there are two general purposes to these assignments. One is to get them to think deeply, as I mentioned before, but the other is just to get them to write. Uh, there are not many opportunities in a large class like mine. In fact, there are no opportunities typically for students to do any writing. The mere fact that they are allowed to write is a useful component of any course, and in this course is um, something that I believe should be included.